Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another video. And you guys have read the title, and we know you guys have been waiting for this one. Today, we are taking a look at the Nike KD12. Ooh. Let's get it. Now we know you guys have been waiting for this one and it is finally here but before we get into it don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Like this video and show your support like you guys already have and always have. Don't forget to comment down below what you think of the KD12 and of course don't forget to hit that beautiful subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop in a video. And lastly, if you want your merch, move the shoe. Don't forget to head over to thisispurekicks.com and pre-order right, right now. Kevin Durant becomes only the fourth player in NBA history to own a 12th signature basketball shoe. That puts him easily up there on the Mount Rushmore of signature athletes. 100%. And the man is a legend. Oh, even now, even already. Bro, in my personal opinion, I think he's the best player in the world right now. I'm, I'm back in that. I'm yeah. back in that personal opinion. Back to back finals MVP. And after we drop this video, he might have a third. He might, soon after this video. He might, so yeah, I'm with you. But without further ado, let's get into his 12th shoe. As per usual, starting out of our favorite part of the shoe, and yeah, you probably guessed it, it's the new part of the KD12, the new part of the KD line, the incredible cushioning system. And we say system because Nike have done a madness on this one. What they've oh. done, they have deconstructed what it means and what it is to be a shoe, yep. right? Something called a strobe ball. For those who don't know that, it's basically the part of the shoe that connects the midsole to the upper, which is basically right under your foot. So they took that part out and just replaced it with a full length Nike Zoom bag. Full length. And this is pure full length. If you ever notice the full length before, it like stops there. Yeah. Have you seen this? Yes, you seen this yes, yep, it goes yep. down, yep. but it like stops there. Some silly lines. In this case, the entire struggle board is a zoom bag and it felt unreal. For me, in my personal opinion, right? Right, Timmy? To me? To, are you? Let me land, let me land. All right, cool. I'm in the plane. Hold on. Let me land. This is the best zoom I have ever felt under my foot. Wow. I'm telling you, it wow. is amazing. The only thing separating, obviously, the foot to the zoom is the sock liner, yeah. the inliner, which you can take out if you want to. You probably shouldn't, but you can. It just felt amazing. It was a very nice sock liner too. So when we're talking cushioning, this felt amazing. It was still close to ground. You got everything you needed from Zoom. You got the cushioning, you got the um, court feel, you got the impact protection even as well, but it's not, it's not no thin Zoom bag. It's not, it's not a joke thing over here. This is the legitness. This is the legitness. Fam, I'm talking a lot because this cushioning, fam. basically it took Zoom Right, because it's just been Zoom for many years now. Yep. It's just been a Zoom bag. Yep. And then they said, how can we make it better? Where can we put it to make it better? Because you know, for years now, they put it on the bottom, bottom yep. loaded, all that stuff. Yep. And then they put it directly right under your foot. Wow. I'm guessed. It's truly an experience. I like? It's something that you have to try for yourself. And it's only in the KD12 right now. And I hope Nike puts it in more basketball shoes, man, because... Yeah, they've set the pace now. It's, it's ridiculous. What they've done, they've showed us what they can do. And now if I don't get it in other shoes, I'm going to be disappointed. Take notes, Nike. We're talking to you. So, what would you have to give it a score? What are I you know. Saying? I know, yeah. How much is it? 10. It's a 10? It's a 10. Wow. Perfection, bro. 10. Say no more. I swear down. It's all mad. Agreed. Our next favorite part of the shoe is the traction. And here at Pure Kicks, we're calling this the razor blade traction pattern. Bro, it was an absolute joy to play. Absolute joy. No gimmicks, bro. Oh, that's no nice. Gimmicks. All jokes aside, what we have are individual nodes spread throughout the shoe. Yep. And it was beautiful, bro. It was so, that. so nice. Bro, you're 100%. We've seen the traction pattern on some shoes before in the past. Yeah. It's just known to do a madness. It is so, so good. 
the individual nodes makes it really malleable, yeah. which basically means that the nodes move individually across the court with you like razor blades. So like that is exactly what you're getting, or even on shoes it's more squeak squeak. Yeah. Um, but you do get a really, really nice squeak. Yeah. The bite is amazing on oh. these. I did love them. The step backs, the twist turns, you know how it is. You have to be taken care of. I think even defensive slides, you have to be taken care of. And I definitely was, yeah. for sure, for sure. Our only gripes with this traction pattern is number one, there's some dust collection, mm. which is to be expected with translucent outsoles. So and number two is that it's wearing away a little bit, which again is to be expected with translucent outsoles. Will we bust these outdoors, Timmy? <laughs> it's a no! Strongest of no's. I mean, those two things combined, talking in dust collection, yep. Uh, the durability and then even combining the razor blades, it's a big fat no. These are not going outside. I mean, they'll perform. Yeah. Sorry, let me stop there. They will perform just like most shoes will. You'll be fine, but not for very long. In my opinion, and probably you agree as well, these are an indoor only shoe. Yeah. Really designed for indoor only. Taking all of that into consideration, the traction pattern gets a nine out of 10. Amazing traction, the bite is incredible. Incredible. There's a bit of dust collection, yep. and the durability is a bit of an issue, but it's minor. Minor. When you have a traction pattern this good. So next up, talking about the support. Now here in the KD12, we have the usual suspects. We yep. have the outrigger shape along with the TPU barrier, the internal heel counter, and the quad axle flywire. On that note, quickly, Timmy. Yeah. I love how Nike displays the technology. Yeah, that was and cold. it's clearly written. Yeah, it's cold. And the little window as well. Every you colorway as well. Oh my days. It's, it's, it's cold, it's cold, anyway, it's cold. Get, sorry, carry on. The quad axle flywire is actually an amazing part of the shoe. Yeah. Because it is flywire, we've seen it for years now as well. It not only goes through the laces, but it also goes up and it also goes horizontally and multi, vertically. Multi. Multi. That's multi the word I'm looking for. Multi Flywire and it looks and performs amazing. Yeah. Here in this colorway, it's actually color coded in pink, yellow, and blue, so you can really see it just under the upper. It bangs, it fits amazing, it helps towards the support incredibly. Yeah, yeah I'm messing with it. Yeah. I'm messing with it a lot. Since the KD5, we've seen only low top shoes from him. Mm -hmm. But here, as you guys can see, we have a mid top shoe, which I think also adds to the support. It does. I personally like it because I feel like my ankle supported and mental support you see is very very key see? it's just a helpful. little ankle coverage it did the trick for sure definitely very very helpful yeah taking everything into consideration the kd12 support comes out at a strong eight out of ten and this is big yep this is exciting times even for me personally yeah the support is something that the kd line has just not got right in such a long time if you go it's back been missing it's been missing right yes. if you go back to our previous videos on the 11 and the 10 lateral support specifically it's been a myth. Yeah. But in the KD12, it's here and it's bloody amazing. Yeah. I'm super happy about it. It feels like Nike have been listening. Yeah. It's taken a while. It's taken a while, but they have listened and there's some lateral support in the KD shoe with great traction. And when you combine the two, you have to have those things. And now we finally got them. Shouts out to the KD12. Next up, we have the fit in the KD12s. And that comes from the lovely lacing system yep. and the amazing quad axial flywire, which Timmy spoke about earlier. They all come together to give you this beautiful fit. It feels really, really good. Hey, yo, T. Yo. Which size would you recommend I get? Whichever size you is. Whichever size that may be, stay true to size on these. They fit really, really well. So whichever size you are, go with that size. They're a regular to narrow fitting shoe, which okay. kind of KD line has been known to be. Yeah. So you will be good because materials are okay and they're pretty malleable, they stretch really well. The trooper size will be fine. Regular to narrow fitting. So taking all of that into consideration, the fit comes out at an eight out of 10. Very humble, right. gets the job done right. and then some. Right. It's a great fitting shoe. Very. So next up, talking about the materials. Now here in the KD12, we have a synthetic textile mesh across the entire upper, which is a step back. I'm really sorry. I got real used to flying it. Oh. Yeah, it was a treat, man. It was such a treat. It was a treat. And then it didn't become a treat because we got it and I got used to it. And it's from the KD9, I believe. Nine, 10, and 11 were all flying it. Yeah. And they clocked flying it in the 11. But then they went right back to textile mesh. 
Now, there's no regular textile mesh. It's mesh with super tiny holes. Yeah. But it's just not flying it. It's missing so many things. It's not as flexible. It's not as stretchy. It's not as light. It's definitely not as breathable. So all these things are kind of reeling off. It was good. Yeah, I'm not mad at it, man. I'm not mad. I'm not mad of course not. But I'm mad that it's not flying it. Yeah. I, I, grew I quite like the rigidity. Really? I like how it's structured. It feels there strong. There is. No, I get that. So sometimes with flying it, you do sometimes have that feeling of it being a bit too flimsy. Yeah, that's true. That's so you true. don't get that feeling of, of course, flying it always performs amazingly yeah, well. Awesome. But sometimes you feel like, you know, damn, are these going to be able to hold me up? So I would have these, I don't get that feeling. I know, I hear that, but I would have loved to have seen the quad axle flywire with mm. the flying it. 100%. So they gave us this and then took something away. I feel like with the flywire and the fly net could have been a mud tank. They're teasing, I think. They are. They're teasing. They've done it. Especially yeah. in this KD12. There's a lot of teasing, but they took. Yeah. Then give us, then take us away. Yeah. I think Flynet is coming. With the quad actual, KD13. Yeah, they're, maybe. They're, they're cheeky. They're cheeky. It might even be self lacing. Self lacing quad axial. <laughs> With all that being said, the KD12 materials get a seven. Mm. It's a above average seven. Yeah. Yes. But because of the step back, it's missing the breathability, it's missing the flexibility. Yeah. It, it's, it's just above average. Yeah, 100%. And it also does require some braking time. Mm. I mean, it's nothing crazy. It's definitely not straight out of the box. Definitely not straight out of the box. But, you know, the shoe does require some braking time. And once it breaks in, it does feel nice. It feels all right, 100%. So looking at all the scores, the Nike KD12 comes in at 8.4 out of 10. Ladies and gentlemen, this shoe is not a joke ting. Do you hear us? It is not a joke ting. It all starts with this cushioning system, full length zoom like you've never felt before. Good. The traction is also a madness. Mad. Don't take them outdoors. Yep. But indoors, it's a mad thing. Absolute madness. Only let down a little bit by the materials, yep. but all in all, the KD12 is a fantastic shoe. Nike, you man smashed it. 100%. I'm with that. I'm fully, I'm back in that. Whatever he just said, yeah. I'm back in that. Yeah. If you want your pair of the Nike KD12s, head over to our description box below, click the link to the ProDirect Basketball website, and they will take care of you. But before you do that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like this video and show your support like you guys always do. Comment down below what your thoughts are on the KD12 and everything about it. And lastly, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video. And lastly, again, if you want your merch, <clears throat> head over to thisispurekicks.com and pre-order right now. Go get involved, rip the team. Time is here. So right guys, that's it from us. This is the Nike KD12. We're Pure Kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.